What's going on everybody? My name is Vladimir CR and welcome back to Time Splitters 2 and today we are going to go through Chicago 1932. Uh, something I failed to mention in the last video that I did this, I'm going to go ahead and let this load up while I'm talking, but something I failed to mention in the last video of this is I had intended to stream over the holiday weekend and unfortunately I was not able to because of the terrible, terrible satellite internet connection that I have, which you guys have heard me been complaining about ever since day one. Well, I say day one, but ever since I started uploading videos again. Anyway, let's watch this. Everyone's on the take. The DA, City Hall, even the cops on the beat, being paid to turn a blind eye. But me? Nah, I couldn't. So I got out. It's all down to Mr. Big. He's cost me everything. So tonight I sent him a message. And boy, will he take the bait. What am I worried about? It's not me that's got to tell the boys. And Francis can handle himself. Yeah, he can look after himself. Until... What? He's back in town. What? He's back and he's looking for you. That's a big dude to be tossed around like a rag doll. Francis, hmm? come on, you stupid. You stupid. <clears throat> I want that son of a... I want him dead, you hear me? I love how they don't want to cuss. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, we'll see about that. There we are. Big, you better watch the shadows, because I'm taking you. Ah, one of the last video games to feature smoking as a thing. So, But anyway, so yes, now we are into Chicago in 1932. I would love to have a time machine, if nothing else, than just to see what American life and what life in general was like back in the 1930s. Um, I know the de depression and everything, but um, I don't know. It was just a very interesting time. You know, you hear people say, you know, or well, you hear some people, you know, go on about how gangster, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Um, but this is a rum barrel that we have to drain because of prohibition. So, here we go. Anyway. There's another dude around here somewhere, I thought. Do I have another gun? Just the, yeah, there we go. Love my silenced pistols. Makes me feel sneaky. Two whiskey barrels. But still, it's, uh, it's Prohibition. 1930s, it's Prohibition, so... And I think I know where they are, I'm not sure. Again, it's been a little while since I've played through this, so... I'm not real sure where anything is, really. I do know... That in terms of just, you know, some little, just fun little first person shooting game. This is actually um, one of my favorites just because, and, and Time Splitter is future perfect as well because there's a lot of what I refer to as tongue in cheek humor. And I just find that hilarious. There we go. And enemies go down very easily because we're on easy. There we go. You just have to shoot at the bottom of the barrel and... Oh, no, you don't. You shoot at the bottom of the barrel and eventually all the whiskey drains out. And there's one more, and I think it's out here on the street. I could be wrong. We need to go pick up that telephone, though. You guys hear the ringing? I don't know how well the first episode recorded. As of shooting this episode, I haven't even... Rec uh, I haven't even messed with the second one yet, so... I have no idea what it's like. Mako wants us to meet us at the newspaper stand down the street. That guy wants to get shot. And he just did. So there. And now we have to... There we go. He's dead. Well dead. I prevented him from escaping and that was my objective, so 
That's all that matters to me. And then, like I said, Mako wants us to meet him at the newspaper joint down the street. There are other enemies that kind of... There's the last barrel. Um, enemies that kind of mess with you, that kind of spawn throughout the course of you getting through. Yeah, that should work. Um, that's Mako right there. Basically, we're going to protect him as he gets back to his hideout. And this is when people are going to start crawling out of the woodwork and trying to come and get us and kill Marco, and we can't have that. So, I think Marco is going up the street and around the corner, basically. I think that's where he ends up uh, staying. Don't shoot my informant. He's my informant. Ah, sniper. Cannot remember where the sniper is, though. I know he's around here. I just cannot remember where. He's up in a building, I believe. Yep, up on the... Got him. Now where am I getting shot at? From behind? There is actually an effective range as well. Um, it's just not really stated. I think we get like one or two more that try to kill him and... We can't have that, so... I don't know, I can't remember. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played the game. I don't think... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I've killed everybody yet. I know, he goes down the street to down here, takes a right, takes another right, and then a left and goes up here. Why didn't he just cross the street right here? Just to make the game more difficult, that's all. Watch, watch this, watch. He just he just disappears. Watch. And he's gone. Just like that. There's dynamite around here somewhere too, and that kind of comes in handy, but... There are actually multiple different ways to get into the Sunrise Club. You could, um... You could call a cab, and that would open the fence to the Sunrise Club. You could, um... I think there's something else you can do, and then there's getting the pass from Marco. And getting the pass from Marco is the easy part. Anyway. Also, Marco could have taken the path here through O'Leary's and made it to his place in half the time and half the danger. But he didn't, because video game logic. It's right there that you can call a cab and they'll open the gate for you. Actually, I think you can... Yeah, again, very easy, very laid back. This is definitely what I want, what I play, or what I used to play, when I just want a nice, relaxing, easy game. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Can I open this? Yeah, taxi or members only. Yep. Uh, let's see. And then once you get in here, it's all like, I'm sorry, sir, but our taxis are all taken up. Yep, you go get the time crystal and then Big Sal or whatever his name is, the uh, Mr. Big. Oh, also we could use the uh, temporal uplink to find the crystal. See the red thing there? That's how you can find the crystal the easy way. There are more enemies in here. Tommy Gun times two. That's what we will need to take the boss down. You lucky. Yeah, you got a shot off on me. Don't feel special. You will not be the first per. You are not the first person in a video game to do that, and you will not be the last person. And then here we have Mr. Big. And then all we have to do to kill him is this. Very simple. Those guys right there get explained at the end of the game, but we'll get to that later. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the um, Chicago level of Time Splitters 2. It's uh, always a fun time. Uh, but uh, I still haven't, again, uploaded or edited the first video of this. So I really don't know how anyone is going to react to this or anything. So uh, hopefully you guys are liking it um, because it is a lot of fun. Uh, next time we will be going through 1895 in Notre Dame. Uh, we get to meet the Hunchback, who might as well be Quasimodo, and the Maiden, 
who may again might as well be Esmeralda. But anyway, that's all on the next time, the next episode. So thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all having uh, a good time watching through this series and seeing me again and again, my glorious mug. And hopefully you guys are uh, all getting along well. And uh, if you like the video, do me a favor and tap the like button. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you did not like the video, tap the dislike button on one condition. You got to let me know why you disliked it in the comments. Maybe you don't like the game. Or maybe you don't like the way I'm playing it on easy. That's up to you. But just tell me why in the comments. It lets me gives me that active feedback I'm looking for. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you guys all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, day, night, whatever, whenever, wherever you are. I hope you have a good one. And hopefully I'll catch you guys next time for whatever I decide to play next or the next episode of Time Splitters. So take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. See you.